2010-0437, Parish President Remarks, Mr. St. Pierre. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> the St. Charles Parish Public Works Department and the Wastewater Department has completed their uh, consolidation into renovating the old office uh, that once housed the East Bank Library at 100 River Oaks Drive in Destrehan. The move uh, places three separate office building spaces into one, allowing for better access with ample parking in a permanent brick and mortar location. The partners are looking forward to being able to work more efficiently uh, because of the move. Uh, I'm very proud of this project. Uh, Mr. Campo with uh, Campo Architects uh, did a good job of designing this project. Uh, what we did is took people out of uh, mob uh, like trailers, lean-tos, and shack and moved them to a real nice building. This building would have probably been a, a storage area. What we did, thanks to your help, Councilman, we pumped uh, $5.5 million into this building. And this building is probably worth about two and a half million dollars now, so it's a great access to the parish. Huh? What? Oh, you mean renovating? Five hundred thousand. I'm sorry, five hundred thousand. I just wanted to see if the council was paying attention. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank everyone. Thank everyone who came out to the annual senior citizens luncheon at the. Uh, Seniors had a great time at the Shriners. Uh, I like to thank uh, special thanks to all the sponsors that made the event possible. Uh, they had a great time. Benny Grunch and a bunch was there, and uh, they really cut up and had a great time. Uh, regarding the new DMV office, the project is continually uh, is continuing great progress with the roof being installed and the bricks being delivered, ready to be installed today. In fact, they started putting the brick on today. Electrical and uh, data rough-ins are wrapped up and the installation will begin soon. The parking lot will be poured this week and the exterior uh, painting soffits uh, will begin soon. The project is 7% ahead, ahead of schedule. The new uh, file storage building framing is nearly completion and the external metal siding will begin this week. Brickwork will follow and the metal roofing is due to start next week. The rear driveway and uh, door stoops are poured. Electrical roughing is also scheduled again this week. And this project is about 15% uh, percent ahead of the schedule. Guys, the uh, contractor is doing a good job. Uh, last week, we had the, I had the uh, good fortune to attend the uh, groundbreaking for the Norco Community Health uh, Center, in, which is going to be built in uh, Norco uh, ne next to the um, uh, Shell uh, Chemical Facility. I'd like to thank uh, Shell and Motiva for donating this land and this building when completed will be completely debt free thanks to the hard work of Mark Kaiser and his staff. Uh, the New Orleans Hornets are hosting a series of St. Charles Parish Employees Appreciation Night through the 2010-2011 season. All St. Charles Parish employees as well as their families and friends have the opportunity to purchase tickets at a group price the official St. Charles uh, Parish Night Out with the Hornets will be March the 12th, 2011. For more information, please con contact Anitra Coleman at 785-783-5000. I'd like to encourage everybody to try to make this, and uh, let's have a good showing for St. Charles Parish. Bill, there's some good news for you for that you've been waiting for for a long time. I'm pleased to inform you that the grant for $100,000 for Phase 3 of the Col Kelowna Park has been awarded to the parish. This phase will include the parking lot on the opposite end of the park and a long, uh, long waited lighting for the two ballparks. It was worth the wait uh, to get the matching funds and we'll be able to do the parking lot as well. So thanks for your patience. Also good news for Public Works through the hard work and diligence efforts of uh, our grants officer, Ms. Holly. We had initially had about 1.2 million allocated Katrina f grant funding for the Cousin Pumping Station uh, auto bar screening uh, project. The project cost was $3.5 million, and the project, project had uh, FEMA calculated benefits exceeding that amount. When the project was completed, knowing that GOSEP had set aside some Katrina uh, fund, funds for cost overruns and that the project benefit exceeded the co construction cost, Holly took it upon herself and submitted a request to GOSEP that the project be funded at 100% of the construction cost. It is very unusual, but because normally the state gives a set amount of allocated funds and, and that's all the parish gets unless there is competitive funding available. Uh, her request was uh, denied, but a few weeks later, GOSEP called back and said that since they had set some money aside for the funding for some cost overruns, they would submit a, a request to FEMA for 100% of the construction costs. 
We, then we got to notify that the request was approved today. The Public Works will now receive additional $2.3 million reimbursement for the project. So good work, Holly. And last but not least, my staff uh, and I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a very happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. And that concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. St. Pierre.